Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. I just want to apologize um, as this vlog starts. Like I really wanted to dress up and to like make an effort um, because my, a few friends and I are going out for lunch. But I'm so tired. Like I literally, this is Saturday. Wow, this is Saturday the 29th of September. I'm so tired. I didn't sleep much, obviously, because there was exams. Now I'm trying to catch up on sleep. Then I also had to go and do my hair, as you can see. And guys, my scalp is under so much pain. Like, it's so painful. And I don't necessarily think it's because um, maybe she was pulling that hard. Like, it's not, it's not that. It's just that, like, generally, I have a sensitive scalp. I hope you enjoy this vlog. Um, please don't forget to like, to comment, and to please subscribe. Six years is a lot. No, let's say hi. You're not. Hey, mom, can I look fine? <laughs> hi, guys. How are you? <laughs> Yesterday, Nolo was like, mm -mm, I look so tired. Mommy, you look too tired for that. I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah. My eyes are like dripping. So, we are going to Canal Walk now. It's so cold, like, like shame. What about the, about our How do they feel? with every day, but it's freezing. How do they survive even? And the word gear is not even like, you know, protective. Yeah. It's not shielding them from this yeah. cold. It's really cold. It's the end of the cold hat. Is your sister shopping? <laughs> She's shopping for her man. Oh, She's wow. going to cook. Are you gonna post these things? Tenga. Please turn around and show them what you're, what you're working with. Actually, a side profile, I think, is better. Look at that, guys. That is... <laughs> that's all real. <laughs> so, she's looking for setting spray at MAC. Because the Estee Lauder one was not good enough. So, did she get it? Did she get it? <laughs> Look at my skin. Can you see it? So this is Estee Lauder. Um, What's it called? It's the Double Wear Foundation in Sandalwood. Sandalwood. Yes. Guys, we're currently at Max. And I'm getting the... What's it called? The Max Prep and Prime Setting Spray. Wednesday, yeah, it's Wednesday the 3rd of October. I'm literally in pajamas. I don't know if you can see that. The time is, I think it's like something, some, I think it's like quarter to four, quarter to four p.m. Um, I just got back from Red Cross. I'm currently doing, wow, I feel like I never introduce myself. I never say who I am. Okay, my style depends. Okay, my name is Uoya Mampegeto. I am a sixth year final year medical student at UCT. Anyway, I'm currently doing um, my pediatrics block. And uh, I've just come back from blog we had a tat. So this is my my third day in pediatrics. Um, as you would have seen, I wrote my anesthetics and forensics exam last week. All I'm trying to say, guys, is that I'm so tired that I'm literally getting into bed at 3 o'clock. Well, at something to 4. And then I'll wake up at 6 o'clock and start studying. 
I'm upset, I'm mad, I'm tired of being a 60 student, I'm tired of being a medical student, I'm tired of being free labor, I'm tired of registrars not teaching me, I'm tired of so many expectations on me, especially as a sixth year. I'm just I'm tired of actually being chronically stressed. But as Kolapa, as Kolapo, um, the other thing is we have two months left of this year and praise be to God that it's two months and it will end soon and it will end with us passing and graduating on the 14th of December. But yeah, um, I'll try and take you, no, not I'll try, I will take you through like pediatrics and how everything is because I definitely think like for me, vlogging makes school way much easier. Like it makes school way better for me. Like I cope better with vlogging because I genuinely enjoy vlogging and sharing my experience and laughing at ridiculous doctors and consultants and registrars who have unrealistic expectations of us but yeah so yeah we um i'm currently i'm doing my pediatrics block in red cross hospital it's red cross children's memorial hospital yeah okay. the reason why i'm actually sleeping so early is because like for the past two days i've been trying to catch up on sleep from last week the week of my exams so i wasn't sleeping as much just getting like two or three max four hours of sleep a day so i'm trying to catch up on all of that you know i still need to study and get on with everything with this block but i'm so glad it's like the end i'm over this like i'm over like this this way of living and this chronic stress and this like always pushing yourself to the limit is unsustainable um and yeah Hey guys, um, sorry for such a close up view. It's literally, um, what's the time? I think it's like, I always like, I'm not sure of the time. Anyway, it's like um, 10 30 pm. I woke up from a nap. Well, I woke up quite some time back, like at half past six. And then now I'm going to study. As you can see, I'm going to study. So basically, um, as I've said, I'm two months away from being done with medical school which is amazing which is great but before i can get to the point where i say like i'm done 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 completely with medical school i still have quite a few exams to do so since that since i am doing pediatrics at the moment in eight weeks i'll be writing my pediatrics exams which includes a portfolio exam um two oski stations and an mcq and then I still need to do obstetrics and surgery. Obstetrics and surgery I did um, in June, when we just came back from back, like July, but we didn't write those exams. Exams had been canceled because obviously we had a death in the faculty and it was all traumatizing, it was a very difficult time. So those exams were like postponed to the end of the year. So basically I'm two months away, um, all these blocks are heck like hectic so i literally have to start now i have to start studying now two months away for exams as in two months and on top of that i have my exit oski examination so exit oski is basically like obviously it's an oski so an oski how do i explain it it's like you have stations right and in each station, there's like an examiner, which will be a doctor who's specializing in whatever. So if let's say the station is for obstetrics, it would be an obstetrician, it would be a surgeon, it would be someone from internal medicine, whoever, like whatever speci speciality that is. And um, each speciality basically, I think, chooses um, one skill that they expect you to know definitely before they can release you out into the world as an intern next year. This is one skill that you definitely have to know. So like, for example, for obstetrics, um, you need to know like postpartum hemorrhage, like how you're going to manage if a woman has given birth and they can't stop bleeding from literally could be anywhere from the vagina, the cervix, all the way to the uterus, you know, so things like that, um, like in, in terms of medicine, they want to know about can you do like a blood culture? So can you take blood culture is basically a way of taking bloods um, that's special. I don't know how to explain it better. But basically, yeah, that's what an exit OSCE is, is that they want you, they want to find out, they want to see if you know these basic skills, um, yeah, 
like if can you do cpr like if someone wants to collapse do you know like the steps what do you do what do you look for how do you manage yeah but it doesn't that they want to see are you safe to say like i'm really struggling i'm not going lie i am fatigued like i'm tired we as i said before we were, we were writing last week literally friday it's one two it's four days later the stress is up again and i just wanted to say that i don't think i can't do it on my own not even i don't think i can't do it on my own like literally jesus is going to have to carry me through the next two months and i know he will as he has all the time so i wanted to just encourage everyone would you like when you get to your wits end and you're exhausted and you wondering why you're wondering whether you can continue or not please don't mind my dog and the state that i'm in guys like it's 10 p.m and i'm studying and yeah but if you're wondering like why can you do this you're so tired jonga a whole how many months has gone by already so month you're still um we're on the 10th month of the year you've done it you can still do it Jesus will always be there. You need to ask for help from him. You need to ask for help from the Holy Spirit, you know, to pray to God. When you sit down and you study, you first consult Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Like that's what I've been doing. Um and literally it's helped because me self I'm so tired. Like I'm exhausted. I don't know. And literally I get my strength from God. I get my strength from Jesus Christ. The fact that I am still here and sane and alive like my sanity is still intact is solely because of Jesus Christ the fact that I still have the motivation to sit in front of a desk and study and not just like to be like actually I'm done I give up is Jesus Christ and I'm just encouraging Guti ask for God's help like don't do things on your own don't study on your own don't anything in life so yenza wait that don't do it on your own Jesus Christ is there to help you the Holy Spirit is your personal helper ask for his help he will help you he's ready to help you just need to ask 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 don't do it on your own like god sees way beyond beyond well beyond <laughs> god sees way beyond what you can see he can do way more than you can do and he does say come to me those who are he- heavily burdened and i will give you rest so who are weary and tired now give you rest so that's what i'm encouraging you guys to do please let's pray together i'll be praying for you for god to be with you you know it's that time of the year where things are the stress is mounting things are escalating the assignments that are due the exams um everyone's preparing for final year exams and i'm just will be praying that god is with you and that you also trust in god um to do his thing but that you also work hard and that you do your best don't let anyone deter you from your goals don't let anyone crush your dreams and let anyone like affect you in that way it's not that time was um to my fan attitude guys like you don't need that type of negativity so it's saturday um that i'm literally trying to not show the people behind me because obviously that's unethical it's saturday the 6th of october and i've just come back from not i've just come back as you can see at the back that's i don't know i don't know show people that's a red cross hospital um so i was on call yeah weekend call so now i'm going home